Lorna Byrne, you're an international best-selling author, and you have been seeing and talking with angels ever since you were a baby. Tell us about the first time you saw an angel. The first time I saw an angel, um, from the moment I opened my eyes, I was lying in the cot, um, and I was reaching up trying to catch them. I didn't know they were angels at that time, because you have to remember I was a little baby. I see angels physically, I see the guardian angel behind every single human being, just like as if you were walking down the street, you see people. I see people, but I see the guardian angel behind every single person, regardless of their religion or their belief, or whether they're good or bad. Okay, great. Now, in Angels in My Hair, your best-selling book that's been translated in over 20 different languages, I've read that book, it's excellent, and I know that uh, you've also spoken about your experience of Mecca, or as we Muslims call it, Kaaba. Tell us a little bit more about that. Um, yes, I was brought to a, a library, but I would actually not call it a library, I'd call it a very holy place. And as I was getting close to the entrance, I saw this beautiful um, big angel standing right outside the door, and I went in, and the angel Michael took my hand. And he said to me, Lorna, God is going to take your soul. And he led me across to where there was actually a big screen on the wall. And it was of Mecca, um, of hundreds of thousands of pilgrimages, um, people, Muslims there, um, in prayer. And God took my soul, and I was there among them. And I can tell you, it was just fantastic just to be there praying with all of the Muslims. My soul was dancing for joy and that beautiful stone that has come from heaven and reaching out and touching it, it was just so overwhelming. I would love to see people of all religions able to go there and pray together with Muslims, Jews, Catholics, Hindus, whoever. We should all pray together because prayer is extremely powerful. Lorna, you have written a new chapter in the paperback version of Angels in My Hair, and it's about angels in America. Tell us about that. Um, from the time I was actually a teenager, um, God and the angels had shown me that God has um, gathering angels of America, angels that gather people from all around the world and bring them to America for centuries. And they're all nationalities and all religions. And to me, that is actually a, fair, a fantastic thing to believe that God has done that. And that is why I was told that America is the new world. And I know that can be hard to understand, but all the nationalities and all the religions of the whole world are actually right here in America. And the people of America have a huge part to play for the future of the world. Everyone here has more sass for life. Um, and are reaching out to, to change in every single way. And to me, you know, just to see all the different religions and to, to experience, you know, meeting Muslims and Jews and Catholics and Protestants and just seeing just so much. To me, America is just absolutely wonderful. Lorna, also in your new chapter, uh, In Angels in My Hair, in the paperback version, you mention seeing Muslims in prayer. Tell us about that. Um, yes, that was an actually wonderful day for me because I was walking through the streets of New York and I was with, with a friend and we were meant to go right but instead we went left. And the angels often do that. And when we turn down a street, um, I see this man sitting on steps with beads in his hand and he's in prayer. And I see the beautiful guardian angel right behind him, just so full of light and silver. And the angel says, this man is in deep prayer. Everything just went into slow motion. It was, it, I was even confused and my soul started to pray as well as, as, as I moved along. And then seeing all these shoes and not understanding, thinking it was a shoe shop. And then <laughs> saying, no, it's not the old shoes. And, and then... The angel said, Lorna, look, and there was a man had put a blanket on the ground and he got down and started to pray and my soul even danced more as the man was praying and I was told to look to the right. 
and I was just so overwhelmed seeing all the angels of prayer. I saw a room where there was loads of Muslim men all in prayer and the never-ending stream of the grace of the light of God, of the angels of prayer just flowing. It was just, it was just so overwhelming for me because I wanted to stay and little did the Muslims know that I was praying with them too. I hope they didn't mind because to me to pray with others is just so joyous. Great. And I understand that you've had an experience praying with Muslims a few times here in America. I, I have and I, I, always, I always love it. But you have to remember, I love praying with people of other religions because it is the one God and we all have to get under that one umbrella. You know, and I look forward to the day when, when all religions can get together and pray and we put our differences to one side. I always say if, if one person wants to stand on their head and another wants to kneel or another wants to sit or another wants to sing in prayer because prayer is so, so powerful. Just that never-ending stream of the light of grace of God and the angels of prayer. I would love to describe it, but it's very hard. It, it, is, it is so, and I know people then would allow their souls to come forward and to feel the joy I feel when my soul is in prayer. Great. Thank you very much for your time.